At Acuity Insurance, we believe the things you do for your business every day are nothing short of heroic. And you deserve someone equally heroic to protect them. Like the breaking ground on new construction things, the every box and barcode matters things, and the driving the family business forward things. We put our all into covering your business so you can focus on the things you love most. That's the power of heart. Acuity Insurance, wholeheartedly for you. That is a very funny situation. <laughs> that is a, you know, let, let me let me let me let me tell you what's going on. If if that helps. <laughs> You got three different layers of of battles here, and one I am just utterly shocked at. It's, it's so. It's, <laughs> the first battle is, you know, the I say this with respect. The Chinese companies are allegedly using data practices to spy on, or uh, to spy on whoever downloads. Okay, whoever downloads, basically. Well, my my son just my son just gave me that news yesterday. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, yeah. So I I I got you. This been this been happening for uh quite some time, for quite some time, for quite some time. The now, of course, that's actually big tech company practices. But if China's doing it, then okay, right? That's a different story. Now, at, at least from an American standpoint, okay, at least from an American standpoint. However, the real issue there is the way the the Sino, that just means Chinese companies work, is they are part of the government, and that's actually facts. The big tech companies give a kickback to the government and are, are not run by the government, but China has a different philosophy. America, the West is, let me say the West has, especially, let me use America. America really is a good example here. Has an individual, the individuals will make the country great. China's philosophy is the country will make the individuals great. Okay. These two things are at polar opposites of everything, like everything. It's why it is exactly, it has its pros and cons. It is exactly why you're not looking for a best-selling comedy to come out of China. This, right, there's no individuals that's going to, to, you know, there are, but you get what I'm saying. It's also why they could get a handle on the coronavirus. And we can't work as a group. <laughs> this is the philosophy, <laughs> the philosophies are different. Nothing, pros and cons. This is why, you know, uh, America owns the cloud, the whole cloud industry, you know, for the whole world, for the most part, which is actually a, a a fantastic strategic move for America. It's terrible for the rest of the world if you're thinking about, you know, being advantageous. So you got to understand all that to know that since the companies put all their data back to the government, this is the issue. So when you, when a, when a China company gets their information, it also goes to the government. Everybody, go, all right, good. Here, and now this is West period now, when a big tech company gets their information, they say, no government, you can't have it. And this is this big battles of these fights happen because you can just look at TV, right? There's Congress constantly call, call the big techs down and ask crazy questions, okay? Understand that because that's the first layer. Inside that first layer, China already banned TikTok. Excuse me, India already banned TikTok and a slew of other Chinese apps. Already banned. That happened about a month and a half ago. It was it's a tain that we was going to do it. <laughs> 
so the so, so the what's got me laughing is <laughs> I have no way I just gotta tell you what it is. So now we're gonna ban TikTok because of what I just explained to you. That's the second layer. Oh well, it's a security threat. Let's ban it. Second layer for us. But then <laughs> the commander in chief says <laughs> that I'm a bandit, and this has been happening for a week now, because Microsoft is, is actually negotiating to buy it. And then says, <laughs> and I cannot believe this, <laughs> this says, but the government, the US, should get a kickback. We should get paid for this private company's transaction. <laughs> now, now wait a minute now. <laughs> I'm laughing because because <laughs> a lot of people are full of crap, okay? Now if we go be <laughs> if we are going to be conservative, I'm just talking because this is what we talk about right now, and say six hundred dollars. A second round of six hundred dollar stimulus package is too much. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that, right? That I've seen it. It's everywhere, and it's more than one person saying it. Go ahead, Jerry. That was the unemployment thing, right? Yes. W yes. Was it the six hundred dollars? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's too much for y'all. But the government should get billions of dollars for Microsoft's hard work and TikTok's hard work. That don't make no sense, okay? We either gonna be small government and stay Good small. <laughs> no, <Good or not>. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> but think about the contradiction there is. You say, no people, you can't get it and no welfare, no none of that. Oh, by the way, we want to be welfare. Microsoft, you, t TikTok, we're going to not Right? We're going to not have you here unless we can get a stimulus check, too. That's right. That's right. It's ironic, isn't it? <laughs> Completely <laughs> ironic. <laughs> Completely ironic. And I just laugh and laugh. Because, and let me tell you why I'm really, really laughing. Because, and I kind of said this. See, now, I have, you know, yeah, I know I read a bunch of books on China and, and how they're doing what they're doing. And you got to remember, so I have to bring up the fact that I'm a black guy again. First off, that shirt looks amazing, Law. You know I like that shirt. <laughs> He's got the black V-neck. <laughs> you know I like that shirt. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's just the boots. That's it, man. I ain't mad at you. I need to get me some boots. I actually got me some boots. Now... Here's why I'm just so tickled by this whole situation, because people are full of crap, and I can't stress this enough. You got to remember, I'm neither left or right. I don't, I'm not easily brainwashed, okay? It, it, it say, Steve, Steve, they say, Antonio, you want left control or right control? I don't want to be controlled at all. How about that, right? You know, <laughs> you want to pay left taxes or right taxes? I don't want to pay those at all either. I mean, just my fair share. <laughs> you know, it's, like, <laughs> it's, it's one government, y'all. No, don't don't put a different color on it or philosophy on it, and it's and expect me not to think this is still the government. Like, yeah, you know, I'm just I'm, uh, some 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 of this stuff makes sense. Some of this stuff makes sense. The why I'm so tickled is because. Oh, this is why I got to bring up my blackness. <clears throat> I look at China and I go, that was deep. I see how y'all got out of that oppression. That makes sense to me because I've been oppressed my whole life. Okay? You got to remember, I'm not, I'm not white. I, just, I, don't know, I don't have no other way to say it to you, right? I'm, I'm just not. So I'm not looking at this as, Oh my God, we're gonna lose our power. What power? What what, what power? Right? That, that's not that's not a that's that's not a Negro statement. Do you understand? Let's just call a spade a spade. <laughs> okay. <laughs> let's just let's just call it what it is. Now, 
so I'm so I get to look at this as two two battles being fought. I, I just get to watch, right? I just I just get to watch. And what has me so tickled is we depose what China is doing. But currently, we have the greatest, I gotta be respect, I gotta be respect, currently our administration, good or bad, is acting exactly like China. And that is what's got me so tickled. That's what's got well, me so tickled. <laughs> Fortunately, they're not rounding up millions of ethnic groups and putting them in concentration camps. That is a little different, but that's a lot different. In fact, they're doing that to Muslims specifically too, and so that's actually a super terrible thing. Oh, it's so, scary. Yeah, it's yeah, scary. It is super scary. So whether, me whether you're a Muslim my... or not, you yeah, better be oh, scared no. about that. Yeah, absolutely. So let me modify my statement. Economically acting like <laughs> China. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I heard someone say, and 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 I agree with it. But you know, I'm a I'm a patriot. I serve my country, so of course I agree with the statement. Even on the worst day in America, it's still the greatest country in the world, right? You know, saying I heard somebody say it the other day. Of course, gotta agree I, with that. Well, of course I do. I'm American, yeah. and I serve right. my country. Right? Yeah, of course I do. Right. We we got our own problems, but. You understand. You understand. So that's the whole situation there. Okay. Now notice, I ain't give no opinions. I ain't pick no. I ain't got no sides to pick. I am an observer, taking notes so it don't happen to me. Do you understand? Let me just tell y'all what it is. <laughs> I'm like, okay, Donald Trump won right there. That was excellent. All right. Took an L right here. Don't do that. You know, I'm like the little sister. Watching how the big sister got a whooping. All right, I'm not going to do that at all. Mommy doesn't like that. <laughs> you know, that was you, huh, Grace? That was you. <laughs> Law said that was him, too. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, man. That's what I'm doing. I'm looking left and right. It is a beautiful perspective to have when you don't have a perspective of power. It really is. It gives you, I wouldn't say, well, everything has pros and cons, but it gives you advantages. It makes you learn languages. When, when, when you typically, when you're in power, you say, I don't have to learn. They, they learn me. It makes you learn languages. It, it strengthens your brain. It makes you learn <clears throat> all sorts of stuff. But I love mostly, and I, I hope, I hope all you do this. And there's no way I haven't offended some of you. It's not me. I'm just talking about a monthly bunch of emotionally charged subjects. So you, like your auto suggestion says, well, I should be offended, but I, but, and then you, right. But I'm not doing anything. I'm just talking about the subjects. I hope all of you remove yourself from the subjects and just look and take notes. It's not like you can do anything right now anyway. <laughs> you can't, you can't do anything. In every country, there's, there's, there was a, England had like three near catastrophic political breakdowns from, from, uh, and then one that's got to be getting on anybody in the UK nerves, the whole Brexit, at this point, you got to be tired of hearing about it. Okay, Steve was like, yeah, because it's, now they're just stretching it out, right? They're just stretching it out. The stretched it out. You know, so everybody had, and then India is in the middle of a civil war. Well, I don't know if Indians would say that, but outside looking in, that's a civil war. Okay, but don't mind me. I'm just telling you that when uh, two sides of the country go against each other, that's literally called a civil war. It's just not with bullets or so to speak. Which since we're talking about this, let me tell y'all, the next war, I'm, I'm writing an article right now for some major magazine. I don't even, I don't even remember which one it is. All right, Deanna told me not to tell y'all. So that, can I at least tell them what that article is about? All right, she, she approved. She, my, my, my master said, yes, yes, you, you may speak. 
you may speak. <laughs> I'm writing the middle class is already in World War Three. That's the title. The supposition there or the, the thesis is we don't understand what war is. <clears throat> the the greatest, the most deadly wars have been fought without bullets. That's that's just facts. The most deadly wars have been fought without bullets. <clears throat> and they kill millions and millions of people through policies and all sorts of stuff. And I'm going to write in great detail what I see as a man that can sit back and take notes. You got two world powers fighting each other. And I'm not talking about China and America or Russia. I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about that. I'm saying big tech and big government, that's your new world war. It's around the whole world. <laughs> it's around the whole world. And I'm going to write down what I see. And I'm going to put it in this article. <laughs> it's the whole, and every last one of y'all know I'm making sense right now. The real problem is between big Big tech, <laughs> Jesus, yeah, it's right. Oh, that's private. <laughs> the real problem is against big tech and big government, and who is the collateral damage? The middle class. Everybody's looking for torpedoes and nuclear nuclear bombs. You need to be looking for trade war, <laughs> right? Economic wars and and cyber wars. That's the new battlefront. Cybersecurity is the new battlefront. That is, that's your Cold War going on right there. The myth, the myth, Facebook, as of this recording yesterday, Facebook, they, they got smart with it now. They can't, Mark Zuckerberg, to, 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 uh, to his credit, is big on free speech. So if you don't like me, he wants you to be able to say you don't like me without being violated. If you are conservative and don't like me, he wants you to say, I'm conservative and I don't like him. Liberal, you know, if you think I'm a terrible Christian, he wants you to say that Antonio's a terrible Christian and that's fine. You have your freedom of speech and Facebook is built on that. So what they've done is they've gotten pretty intelligent about having like how can we it's hard I like it's it's not fair what we're doing to facebook to be honest with you it's like we've asked facebook to do the job government should do and then punish them for not being government and then when they try to be government we'll say oh <clears throat> it's punishing liberals or punishing conservatives or something like that right we'll do that it's completely unfair but when you take on the mission of connecting the world you also have to take on the side effect of connecting the world so don't ask for leadership if you're not asking for the aggression against your leadership. That's just going to happen. This is what it is. I sure hope all y'all receive that. Don't ask for to grow your company if you're not ready for the resistance that comes from that. <clears throat> so what Facebook is doing is now they're saying, well, let's monitor behavior. So it's, we don't, we're not monitoring content, We, you know, unless it's pedophilia and stuff like that, nudity, etc. But behavior, <clears throat> okay, we can get a little bit more boundaries there. Over 400 companies yesterday were deleted. Let me tell you what these, do y'all do know this? Oh, man. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> y'all ain't even going to believe me. <clears throat> this is, <laughs> you're not going to believe me. This is how slick they are, y'all. And it's, it's, in, it's, you, you, you just, you'll see. Let me just, let me just get this, give me a second. Let me pull up the article. I know right where it's at. Now, I read these things all day. So you don't have to. And let me tell you, it is boring <laughs> when I go to it. <laughs> boring. 
Hold on, let me see. Well, I thought I knew what the article was. Oh, yep, got it. All right, this is what's happening, y'all. Now, we've been knowing this. By we, I meant people look like me. Been saying this. Ain't nobody listening. <clears throat> this is who, what logo is this? Somebody tell me what logo this is. I want y'all to, if you don't know, it's sitting right here. NBC. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, so we can say this is a trusted source. Yes. Debatable on, you know, <laughs> debatable, debatable, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but all these news people are debatable. It's all propaganda. Exactly. It is all exactly. propaganda now. It's amazing. And, amazing. And this is full propaganda. Facebook has to remove troll forms for posing as African American support group for Donald Trump. Now, let me just pause real quick. I am not saying anything against Donald Trump and anybody can vote for Donald Trump. This is not a political discussion. I would not even bring up politics. I'm about to bring up the new war. Do you understand? All right, that's all I'm doing. <clears throat> Y'all go vote. Do what you want. If you, I'll tell you, you only, you only want to know what I think about democracy. You only want to know. If you, you only want to know what I think. Now, it's been hijacked uh, it, it ha a well, long time ago. Long, long time, time ago. ago. Way before the yeah. modern period. Way before the modern period. It really has. Yep. Hundreds of uh, hundreds of accounts. This is what I'm trying to get y'all to see. This is cyber war. Forget, forget, forget this. Forget all that. I just need you to get that this is cyber war. Hundreds of accounts. Here's what's happened. Let me first let me tell you what a troll form is. Typically, a troll form is by someone in the government that pays a foreign entity. It's normally foreign, foreign entity to do propaganda, as Steve Jerry just said, that then divide oh, oh, for a purpose, for a purpose that it wants to do. Because that, that's more accurate. For a purpose that it wants to do. Typically, this used to be for monetary gain. Now, not so much. It's muddy now. Now this being done to influence elections. <clears throat> there is no more debate if Russia influenced the American election in 2016. Forget what your news media say. I don't know which one you're doing. I hope you like Russia. I hope you like America or whatever it is that you do. But you should listen. As of 2019, that stuff is closed. There's a book out about it. And a lot of them. There's a, there's a whole section of a chapter in the Facebook Insider book by Stephen Levy that just breaks this whole story down. And there's other ones. They've been the Supreme Court. There's nothing but written documents from the CIA, from, forget that, from the Department of Defense. We know for sure that the foreign governments are, have controlled the outcome of an election. I'm not telling you Mr. Trump did not win on his own merit. I'm just telling you we know this for sure. Do y'all understand? All of you should be mind blown by that fact. That do you understand? Do you, first off, that's brilliant. I don't know how to. I guess the because I don't even need to say this a different. I was trying to break it down. I don't need to. What you need to do is you need to divorce yourself from your side of the aisle real quick. That's what you need. You need to get rid of your denominations, get rid of your party affiliations, and just be a human being just for a second. Okay, not a not a red human being, not a blue one or whatever it is. Just a human being. <clears throat> the mere fact that the 
that we got technology that people can sit in an air conditioned room and take down governments. We didn't went into the crime movies we used to watch when Arnold Schwarzenegger was taking down bodies, right? <laughs> body count. This is Skynet. This is Terminator. The real talk. There's actually a country, I will not say the country's name, that just came up with facial, recon facial recognition software. I will not say the country's name. And they call it Skynet, for God's sake. <laughs> they actually call it that. <laughs> just Google it yourself. Y'all, what a war we're having. I'm serious about this. Think about this for a second. It is amazing <laughs> to know that somebody is sitting in a room trying to take down the United Kingdom without shooting a single shot, trying to take down India, trying to take down America, trying to take down China, trying to take down Russia, I'm trying to be fair to everybody, right? We are now recruiting people for this. The same, the new spa is a nerd. <laughs> this should blow your mind, and it really should. This is why I don't. This is why I don't do that whole left and right thing, because I know even the left and the right. The higher you get, they don't even do the left or right thing. Trump ain't no Republican. Trump is Trump. <laughs> if the Democrats became loyal to Trump, he would switch his message tonight. <laughs> We've seen him do it in the middle of a speech. So I know he'll switch his whole cafe tonight. You understand what I'm saying? And it's, that's, that's brilliant. You got to learn how to see stuff for what it is. You know, learn to see stuff for what it is. There's a war going on and all y'all in the middle of it. And the only way to protect yourself is to make sure you got your own government of money shielding you. And that's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> that's the truth last thing I'll say about this if you haven't noticed there is no more middle class I don't know why they keep feeding out that but I'm not even going to harp on that let me tell you what it looks like now there's no even the, the upper class that's trash too upper class is now middle class what there is now is a global class a middle class and the poor. Okay, so what it used to be poor, and then middle class. You had, you had lower middle, upper middle, and then you had upper class, and then you know, right? No, now if you in the top one percent, you're in the top one percent of the whole world if you got enough. Please know that Oprah money work in any country. That's global class. Do you understand? <laughs> All right. Do you understand? That's what I want. That's global class. We, yeah, we, when Jerry, when y'all was growing up, we're no billionaires like that. That's not, you know, they wouldn't know. I'm not made every day. At this, this 17, there's 1,730 millionaires made a day and there's 4,200 billionaires in existence today? That's insane. I don't even know how, I don't even know what a billion times 4,230 is, but it won't fit on my calculator unless I turn it sideways. <laughs> it is going to have an E on it, Grace. It's going to say 10.1 E, and there's some numbers that I got to figure out. I hate that's, that when that happens. Yeah, that's a lot. You can't even turn your phone sideways to see the number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're going to put the E there and shorten it up real quick. 
That's insane. Well, I want y'all to to. And this is just who who asked this question, Reese or oh somebody said I saw a TikTok or whatever it was. This is just this tick uh-huh. Susan. All that's going on, and they want all of y'all jumping on board with the argument. If y'all jump on board with that argument, two things you're not going to be doing. You're not jumping on board with the wealth that's actually happening. And you're not creating your own version of TikTok to get the people to move from one place to the other. It's going to be five different versions of TikTok. Somebody, basically, Donald Trump just told everybody, you got 45 days to come up with a new app just in case I ban them. That's basically what he said to anybody that got some common sense. It's a forty. It's there are a group of people doing a forty-five day race now to be the first one out and to build an audience and all that stuff. Right now, there are people messaging influencers. Right now, hey, would you like to come to my platform? You only need about ten of them. And no group of people, they they this many. Everybody else. The media, what did Jerry say? Oh, I saw propaganda at this point. They all got y'all going, and all of y'all going, ain't making no money. I'm interested to see how Reels and Instagram is going to take over because they have it. It's going to be amazing. It's go- it's going to be an amazing viewpoint. What did Jerry say? Take that out I, I'm excited food. about that one. Oh, yeah, it's going to be good. Because I, I love Instagram, so. Like if you have everything in one one place, yeah. Uh, you should read the book I just recommended. It, there's just two books. One called No Filter. I for, it's a lady who wrote it. I forget her name. I do. A, I, uh, let me. Uh, let me. Yeah, just do me a favor. Let me. By Sarah Fryer. I had to. Because I already quoted Stephen Levy, and my egalitarianness wouldn't let me not quote this woman's name. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> but read both of those, and you'll see how good Instagram actually is, how it created a rift inside of Facebook, even though Facebook owned it. You understand what I'm saying? And here's how you know how good TikTok is. Because every time y'all think about that company that keeps getting called to Congress. Yeah, I'm not thinking about Instagram one time. Every time you think about somebody invade your privacy, you never say Instagram. Instagram somehow, owned by Facebook, has avoided every bad news that Facebook has got. For the ones standing guard, for the eagle-eyed, for the knights in shining armor, and for all those who support them. We are Granger, your experienced safety partner, offering supplies and solutions for every industry, committed to helping keep your facilities safe and your people safer. Call clickgranger.com slash safety or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. Now, I will tell you, after reading these two books and more, I I want to change. I told you, I think the smartest man in the world this this is opinion now, y'all. This is opinion. Opinion. After Stephen Hawking, I think the smartest man in the world is Elon Musk. And he keeps proving me right. He needs some... I, I wish I could talk to him a little bit and say, don't tweet that. But you know what I'm saying? It's all right. He, he, I, he keeps proving me right. I mean, my man just safely landed NASA back in the water and then took a $40 million rocket and recycled it. Like, that just happened in the last 72 hours, by the way. Yes, this civilian, okay, (laughs) this civilian just told the United States government, I got it, and then led their astronauts, the the smartest people in the world. He said, I'm not an astronaut. I can't figure this out yet because astronauts, for God's sake, right? The smartest people in the world and landed them back from from outer space, even though the world is flat. I'm just messing with some folk out there. (laughs) 
I couldn't help it, man. The time it was right, I had to. It's, it's going to be like 25 years before I can do it again, Jerry. <laughs> Go ahead, Grace. <laughs> what was the name of the other book? Uh, one was No Filter. What was the other one? Facebook, The Inside Story by Stephen Levy. I, I'll show you both before okay. I finish. So yeah, yeah, it's it's. I had already made 120 changes from reading these two books to this 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 company. You you know the flat earthers said that they had thousands of people from around the globe attended their last meeting. Around. They, <laughs> they actually said that that was actually in a statement. Thousands <laughs> of people from around the globe have come to our our flat Earth convention. That is. Don't they get it? So ironic. <laughs> It's so ironic. I love it. Both of these books right here. There you go. Oh, well, I hope that link works for you. Both of those books right there. Now, this man walks these people and softly lands them in the water and then takes the $40 million rocket. That's, in the, that's loaded in itself because SpaceX makes $40 million rockets that outperform the $40 billion rockets NASA make. If this don't make no sense to you, NASA just ended its shuttle program like a decade ago. It was too expensive. Well, let me not put in the, I only gave you my opinion one time. Okay. It was something. They did it for some reason. So a civilian, Steve, is saying, I got it and then recycled something that just went to space. I know people that can't put their Coca-Cola can in a recycling bin. <laughs> it says, no paper here, right? <laughs> Plastic only, they still put the Coca-Cola in the paper, right? Like, still do that. And this man is recycling rockets. So as I read these two books, I got a new CEO because Zuckerberg is not only a genius, but he handles some broken noses to the face. And since the, in the last four or five years, and they all came to, it, you just got to read the book. You got you to read the, the books because 2016 changed the world. Doesn't really, we don't, if you're in tech, you know it, because I'm not saying this. This was just a world view. Ah, Trump's not going to win. It's all right. And then boom, right? And a lot of that was, let me tell you, I'm going I'm to teach a class to y'all real quick. Not, not now, but soon. I went and researched how Donald Trump ran his campaign. It was the most brilliant campaign to ever exist on planet Earth. Jerry, every step of the way, the, the guy that Donald Trump hired invented a new way to do ads. Up until this point, it was widely known the 2008 election because internet was kind of just being used by older people connecting the world. That changed. I'm telling y'all, if you do the research, the most, and this is not an opinion, the most brilliant ad strategy campaign. I quote, let me quote. Hillary Clinton ran her campaign like an old person. Donald Trump ran his campaign, trial and error, and segmented the entire United States into different pieces. And they identified there's two people that's never going to vote for him, black people and young white liberals, okay? This is 
the mere fact that they identify who's never going to vote. So what they did is they ran ads to these two groups that made them not want to vote for Hillary. I'll clap. You ain't got to worry about it. That's brilliant. You ain't got to like it. But that's how you go to war. That's brilliant. So you, you can call Trump whatever you want to call him. The man's got some genius in him. <laughs> Basically make it mean take their own allies. Man, that's that that's how you do it. That's how you do it. Segmented and made people. So and listen, and I, I watch people go, if we just voted, if we just voted, you know why they didn't just vote? Because Donald Trump told them not to. And it worked. <laughs> Don't worry about it. But in fact, I'll bless you. I'll tell you where most of the information is at. Antonio. Yes, ma'am. Shaker asked in the chat, demographics or psychographics? He used both, but it was mostly psychographics. And he ran ads to your primal instincts. Go ahead, Susan. Well, now what he's wanting to do is get all the young people, take the young people that aren't going to vote for him instead of voting for Biden to vote for um, Kanye West. That's that whole thing going on now. And you understand that what all you need is 3% to go over there. Yep. Just split them off. That's all you got to do. Yeah. It's like it's voting for the really when you think about it. It's it, man. And, and listen, this man ain't born with this. Let me tell you something. That's trial and error. That's saying I'm going to blow a couple of million dollars to get enough data to figure out how to let y'all think I'm stupid and win. That's how you run business. Uh, you know, if, if, you, if you're ethical, then you, you, know, you do it to help people. But that is how you run business. It's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. Now, let me just, because college won't let me do this, Jerry. I get in trouble. They, they, they get so mad at me. I'm going to tell y'all, because I quoted a lot of information, and I'm going to tell you. Hold on. Stop. Get, open. Gotta have open. sources. There we go. That I'm about to, so you understand. Facebook the insider story by the acclaimed and famed journalist Stephen Levy it's in part three and it's a whole chapter called election and then P for propaganda the next section and then 16 the clown show those are the chapters chapter 14 15 and 16 do not get mad at me there is your statistical data of how Donald Trump ran his campaign. And it's from inside the breakdown, meltdown of our, what happened at Facebook. And how do we know? Because Facebook had to lend that all over to Congress. And I'm going to tell you. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me just pause. Let me talk to my black folk for a second. Y'all just eavesdrop. Let me talk to y'all real quick. Because this is going to be harder for y'all to get than, than everybody else. We so damn divided. Okay? Let me bless you. Let me just bless you. You go to church. Can this pass? Can, can, can it be a woman pastor? Can it be a man pastor? Division. Well, you know, we Free. black. So I'm Baptist. I'm Protestant. I'm, I'm Baptist. I'm Pescopilian, Pesca whatever. Division. We don't even have one thing, right? So you can't hear what I'm saying right now. The reason you can't hear what I'm saying is because you got too many walls you got to knock down just to hear me. Let me tell you what happened. This is not an opinion. I am telling you historicity. There's another culture that is unified and winning. They have no leader. Nah, no, 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 
Y'all keep looking for a black leader. You don't need a black leader. You need a page. White folk ain't got no leader. Did you not ever recognize that? <laughs> Real talk. There's no leader. There's a page. All right. So hear what I'm getting ready to say. Whether you like this or not, winning was the goal. And Donald Trump came through and said, mine. And use technology to get it done and hire the right people. And he's 70-something. And I'm pretty sure he don't even know where the home key's at on a keyboard. So don't tell me you can't be a millionaire after 70. You understand? <laughs> Come on, Chris. Also, I want to add on to this, too, is like when you make a specific person like your leader, you make him an open target. I mean, there's a lot of strategy behind that. And we pretty much expose. Yeah. <laughs> No, no, that, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. And, and I'm, I'm not even going um, <clears throat> to, you, you're absolutely right. My point in saying that was, it's not a leader. It's division. Yeah, I'm just saying that because like business too. Like if someone's like no leading, your, yeah, yeah, I'm with that for like universal all things. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah, no, no, you're facts. Complete facts, complete facts. Super complete facts. Deanna, Pinnacle Awards. All right. And also the remember Goldcast reached out about the Goldcast original a couple of years ago. It's in the email somewhere. They wanted the Goldcast original fly out to Canada, something, something, something. No, no, don't look it up. Do you remember? Put down Goldcast original in your notes and 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 <clears throat> reach out to them today. There you go. I just condensed my meeting so I can bless y'all. Listen, sugar, everybody listen to me. I'm saying one thing, Susan know it, but it's 22 people on. 22 people heard 22 different things. And that, my friends, is the problem. I only said one thing. I only said one thing. One thing. Let me tell you something I learned about being I sure wish I was a whole black audience. I wish I because I really just <laughs> you know. so y'all black now. Let me tell you what I learned about being black and well off. Hey, it's easy. It's it's common sense. It happened to me yesterday. It's, it's easy. I'm a crook. I'm a something. I can never be smart enough to have made it. Never. Ever. And this is what's brilliant about all of this. Because I have navigated around all of that so it has no effect. Y'all, listen to me. This is trial and error. This ain't intelligence. This is, I went left. Steve, they knocked my eye out. I said, all right, let me put this back in. Don't do that no more. <laughs> don't do that no more. Don't, don't, don't do that no more. I went right. They took my arm off. All right. All right. And 90 something times. Every time I tried to move, they knocked me down. But you only get knocked down so many times before you start realizing, oh, I go this way. The people in the top 1%, most of them got there through trial and error. I want y'all to ask yourselves, have you lost, have you said, let me lose this money so I can learn how not to lose it? There is a difference. There is a pathological difference 
between the top 1% and the middle class. If you are not, if you are not willing to blow $10,000 to figure out how to get free leads, you ain't going to never get free leads or leads. You're going to say, well, I'm going to just spend this much. And it's not enough data to trial and error. I ain't just up here talking. I'm never up here talking. I'm telling y'all, it's so impressive. Remember, chapters 14, 15, 16, what this man did to the election and the ads, how he controlled everybody. People for him, people not. You got to remember, popular vote, he's got a little pocket. He multiplied his pocket and told everybody else, don't do something. Why y'all not doing that with y'all business? Why you not multiplying your little pocket and moving everybody else who ain't going to never buy from Steve out the way? It makes sense. But here's what I know just happened. Ain't nobody listen to me. It has nothing to do with me being black or this time it ain't your programming. Nobody listens to teachers. <laughs> it's, just, it's just the way history has worked. <laughs> Winston Churchill was saving the world and was teaching at the same time. It's like, nah, 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 nah. It's all right. No, seriously, Winston Churchill really did save the world. That's actually. Y'all would. Winston Churchill saved the world, okay? <laughs> you need to know history a little better. He absolutely delayed long enough to get some help. I can't imagine the, the courage he had. Let me land this plane. To everything y'all hear in the news, everything that's popping up on your timeline, it's all fake. First off, if you see it, it's too late. That's, we, <laughs> we can just go to that old logic. If you see, ooh, this stock is up, it's too late. Don't you go buy that. <laughs> it's too late. By the time the janitor start hearing about it, it's too late. It is about to crash. <clears throat> Straight up. So if y'all hear about it, it's too late. I told y'all about 6G, the plan for 6G, two weeks ago for 2028. Y'all don't the people that know about that. It ain't too late for that. It's early. Have y'all heard 6G anywhere else but here? Yeah, early. That's the kind of news you want. You want the news that's on websites that don't even look good. You know, it's just, just like, it looks like a Reddit wall. You know, it's just list, list of information. All right, man. See you in a second, bro. The, it's all of it's fake. There's two things great about me in this capacity. For one, I just seem not to care about correctness so that it works out. It gives me the prowess and the strength to pull this stuff off. The other thing that works out for me is I'm just giving it away. I'm the voice in the wilderness. Right? <laughs> These two things keep me protected. <laughs> okay, It's, it's, it's kind of hard to come through and assassinate the one giving you the information. Just freely giving it to you. <laughs> that kind of keeps me protected. Where did I learn that from? Oh, well, who acted like me and came before me? What happened to them? Oh, common sense. 
There's such thing as economic hitman, by the way. Y'all yeah, will catch that later. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, Jerry. Absolutely. Let me, let me try to get you to understand this, man. If I can get you to understand that if you see it now, it's a lie. They tell you the crime. Did y'all notice? Like they they tell you about the crime rate in Chicago. That's some propaganda if I've ever seen it. Okay, they tell you about crime rate in Chicago and blah 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 blah. Right? It's always on the weekend, ain't it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I remember watching this other day? It's always on the weekend. Yeah. Let me tell y'all something. They send agents through to do some stuff and then control your thinking about it after. And I'm not just talking about Chicago. I'm saying everything you're looking at got agents do. Don't believe me. I just want you to flip through all the news channels you watch. Not the liberal. If you're conservative, only go to your conservative news points. And they're all saying the same words. Not the same things. They're on script. Now, in school, Steve, you got in trouble for plagiarizing. <laughs> right? No, they lying to y'all. They lying to you. They lying to me. They lying. This is the best opportunity in the world. If you have not gotten rich in the last four months, you tripping. You got 18 months of this left. Yes, economic hitman, that's a real thing. There's an economic hitman that actually wrote a book. And he did? Okay. Ah, yep, yep. I've read that book twice. What was the last thing I was saying? It was super important. What was I saying? It was super duper important. Yeah, 18 months left. Y'all got 18 months left. Thank you, Grace. The best time for you to ever do what you never thought you can do is in the next 18 months. I'm giving you... <clears throat> Remember I asked Steve a long time ago and Steve wisely said, sure will. I said, Steve, if I tell you, if you go out there and dig a shovel, Take a wooden shovel into the street. And you just dig a hole. <clears throat> it's going to hurt. But if I tell you in two years, your life will never be the same. Would you do it? Steve said, yep, sure will. I'm telling y'all that the five or six people who run the banks, what, what am I trying to call them? Federal banks. What do they call them? The reserves, Federal Reserves. They all have said 18 months, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be bad. In America, it's 54 million people now without a job. And I didn't even check yesterday. So that number went up yesterday. I didn't even check. It come out every Thursday. I, I didn't even check yesterday. That got 18 months. Here's how you do it. You stop listening. Okay. Number one is you stop listening. Number two, don't listen to the news. Read the comments. Don't listen to them. Read the comments. And Kara, when you start finding a the theme of comments, you start building programs around those comments. Because <clears throat> let me tell you something. <clears throat> this should be some Facebook therapy. Immediately. If a therapist figures out how to do a program about the psychological effect that Facebook has on you. You would make a ton of money. If you don't think it's true, according to data, this is public, just Google it. In 2016, 33% of divorces included Facebook in the divorce decree. You know how big 33% is? 
and I'm sure that only got higher. Do you understand <laughs> how much the money is in that? What do is look up all their old girlfriends, boyfriends, classmates, yep. and start building the relationships. Yep. Yep, Kara, you can make so much. Forget using Facebook. The people on Facebook are telling you what programs they need. If y'all stop watching your competitors and stop watching the news and start reading those comments, they will tell you. But listen, I'll prove it to y'all. How many of y'all had something bad happen to you and somebody went on Facebook and lied on you? It was hard to get over that, wasn't it? That's psychological turmoil that Kiera could write a program for. If you put up, if you put up, what is it? How to handle social media abuse as a therapy class, man, many people go there. Stolen. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Look at the comments, y'all. Look at the comments. Look at the comments. Look at the comments. Read the people. Forget the news. Listen to the people. Listen to their reaction to the propaganda and then build the solution to that propaganda. Because as long as the media agencies are trying to control y'all, it means it's going to work. And when it works, you need to be the product that they go in fear and buy from. Last thing I'll say. Everybody says, Antonio, how's the coronavirus treating you? And I always say, oh, it's great, actually. But I never say why. Today, I'm going to tell you why. Because the world has gone crazy. And guess what? Everybody is looking for instructions. And I might be the greatest instructor out here right now. That's why. All I did was build a company. And I told y'all this. I kept saying it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. With the strategy I just told you, I said, I'm going to wait till they hurt. Boom. I'm Buddha. How you doing? Right. It, it depends on what country you're in, right? <laughs> depends on what country you're in. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Hey, you did all right? I built the solution. So when they go fear by, it's ATS. And the only way you can do that is you got to divorce yourself from some religion they gave you, divorce yourself from, from policies they gave you, and just be a human. And sit back. And don't, I didn't say be a black human, be a white human. I said sit back because they gave you whiteness. They gave you blackness. They gave you Indianness. None of this stuff exists. Sit back and say, what are the primal instincts that people are going to do and it's never gonna change? And one of them is, teach me how to leave where I'm at. And I am capitalizing off of that. What's yours? Don't be a consultant. Be something that they're buying in fear. Scarcity is big business. Don't create it, but you could doggone sure profit from it. Antonio T. Smith Jr., you can't play better. You can dominate. <clears throat> All right, everybody. I'll see you at 12 my time and some ungodly time for the rest of you. All right. We'll see you later. I got, some, oh, I got some surprises for y'all, too, coming. But it's going to be on the – did I tell you Steve's time? or I think Steve's time. Don't worry about it. Steve, we're going to get with you soon about a good time for you, and it's going to be a whole nother thing that's going to happen. <clears throat> that's going to bless you. 
All right, everybody. Yeah, have a good one.